you know, I may very well, in fact, regret this purchase, but that's a future Jazzy problem. Hey everyone, and welcome back to a brand new video. This is an unanticipated 22S unboxing. Um, it is a Chanel 22 and I have tried to look for unboxing videos on YouTube. I haven't really found any and it looks as though the majority of people really hate this bag based on polls that I've conducted. But um, if you're intrigued by this bag, that's probably why you click this on this video. So welcome to the dark side. Um, before I start, I wanted to share with you some items that I received from Ana Luisa. So Ana Luisa is actually a brand that I've shopped with before I started YouTube and um, they were, I was inspired by other YouTubers who were, you know, shopping from them or sponsored by them and I was really attracted to the brand in itself because um, I like the idea of getting jewelry that is made out of fine materials but at a low uh, price point. Uh, you're not paying crazy ridiculous money, it's at an affordable price point and you're getting like real metals, not costume jewelry, right? Like, so, um, a lot of the time, I love my designer costume jewelry. Uh, unfortunately, with my earrings, uh, I do, you know, react if I wear them every day. And I did want something that was a little bit more, better quality to wear on a daily basis, but nothing that is super, super like gaudy or heavy, right? You want dainty pieces that you can wear every day. So I have made some purchases myself. And this time around, they reached out with, to me via email and they said, hey, we'd like to send you some pieces. And I was like, absolutely. So I'll just share with you some items that I did get in the past. Um, I have actually a lot more, but I'll just show you a few that I do wear. So this is a gold bead bracelet that I purchased a couple of years. Well, I would say before the pandemic. Um, and I wanted, because I, I had like the Tiffany bead bracelets in silver and I was kind of transitioning to wanting to wear more gold type of jewelry. So this is what this looks like. Um, and it's like that snug fit. So I really liked these. And then recently I did get like this watch strap bracelet that I do wear on a daily basis. I don't do, I don't do well with bangles um, just because of like work and stuff. Like it kind of, it makes, I don't know, I'm not used to it. I want something a little bit more flexible. So, you know, I did want to get something like this and it just fits perfectly. It's easy to put on yourself. It's got like that clasp. So this is something that I purchased myself and I actually really like. One thing that I would show you right now, actually, which is what I purchased myself, and maybe I should get uncomfortably close to the camera, but is this little guy. So I'll talk about this later, but I'll show you what they sent me. So I'll give you some close-up shots of the the jewelry items but the packaging has changed over the years and I really do like the packaging I know I did unbox this on my Instagram and I showed you um, the packaging a couple of months ago when I bought this but they sent me a few items and this is really nice so it's got the the, the bags have these little magnetic clasps so it's really really luxurious the packaging itself is like um, you know low-key right like because they are uh, carbon neutral, right? Like they want to use recycled materials and I like the, the whole premise of the company because they are transparent and they are moving towards more of like a carbon neutral or reducing their carbon footprint. Um, they're very transparent about what's in their products and they use recycled silver and then they plate it with gold. Um, they do have one solid gold piece which is what I am wearing so we'll talk about this later but this is just stunning. Like look at how nice and chunky this necklace looks so it's really nice to even just layer okay so there's that this is another piece that they sent me which is kind of like um a different pattern as well and i'll link the item numbers or the links down below so this is really really nice and then there's also another necklace which i was really interested in so i picked like i just you know, picked some things off the website and I'm like, these are some of the items that I'd, I'd like. And then they sent me what they had. But this is actually very pretty too. I don't know if you can tell. Right there. So they're, they've got like a nice clasp. You can adjust them as well, but they, they look really pretty on. And I do like that yellow gold. So this is how this looks. Look how pretty that is. Um, and then in addition, I picked out this ring. So I really like that for the middle finger. This is a size eight because I have like man hands, but 
I actually really like that. It's um, it's not diamonds, you know, they're basically a uh, little zircone, but um, it's a gold plated piece and I just wanted something dainty on the middle finger. Um, I could wear it on this hand as well. But the piece that I really, really love that I've been wearing daily is this piece here. This is actually a um, lab diamond that they've used. So if you remember like with, with Tiffany & Co, they have the Elsa Peretti diamonds by the yard and I've always really liked the little tiny dainty diamond that just sits right at that bone there and um, you can layer it with any piece. Uh, I just didn't want to spend the money on it because <laughs> it's so tiny, right? And I, I understand why people, it's nice, like go if you want to get that, get that. But I like the look of it. And this is a lab diamond. It's tiny, but it's so sparkly. Like, I don't know if you can tell, but like it just, it, it just catches the light. And the, the chain is actually a solid 14 karat gold chain. So it's very, very fine. 14 karat gold, I think because you can't really, I don't think you can get this thin with like 22 karat gold. And I'm brown and we use a lot of 22 karat gold. So it would be way too soft. And in order to have it this thin and dainty, like you'd need to have something else added to the gold. But I'm very impressed with this piece because I literally, I, like I never take it off. Like rarely do I ever actually take it off since I bought it and I've had it for a few months now. I shower with it, I sleep with it, and it's still so sparkly. I get a lot of compliments on it as well. So um, I would definitely take advantage of the promotion they've got going on for Mother's Day. So I actually did buy this when they did have a promo uh, before I think I like I added this piece and some other pieces as well uh, but they're doing a buy one get one 40% off and this particular piece I think it comes to about like 400 something and then they have like one that is gold plated so it's silver and then gold plated with a lap diamond that's uh, a bit cheaper but you know if you're gonna wear this every day then I would recommend getting the gold uh, the solid gold one um, reason being is because they didn't even know that I had YouTube when I purchased some of the items a couple of uh, months ago or a year ago or two years ago even. I was very impressed with their customer service. So I bought this bead bracelet to wear every day, uh, just like the Tiffany silver ones, which actually the funny thing is I had three Tiffany bead bracelets that were silver and I was wearing them every day. They're very comfortable for it, but they literally broke off. Uh, so, I mean, I lost one and then two broke off as I was changing. I didn't expect that for Tiffany and co, but I mean, it happened. There's nothing I can do. But this I bought, you know, to also wear every day. I noticed that it was tarnishing a little bit and then I sent them an email. I said, hey, it's tarnishing. This is gold plated. And what they said was, you can wear it in the shower. Uh, a handful of times but they don't recommend wearing gold plated jewelry in the shower every single day uh, and so they actually sent me a replacement uh, they didn't even ask for this back um, you know I'm in Canada they're in New York in the States so um, they sent me a replacement and I was actually very impressed with that customer service and it was very quick their shipping's really quick as well so I really like the company I really like some of the pieces that they have to offer I actually use them I'm very impressed with this piece that I purchased a couple of months ago so if you guys are interested in this I would definitely get this piece it's very pretty very nice as a gift you can get one for yourself and for your mother buy one get one 40% off I'll leave more information in the description box down below okay so the Chanel 22 I know we were all horrified looking at it on the runway it is a very out there bag is very different for Chanel and I think we don't give it as much credit as we should uh, I used to be very conservative with my uh, fashion choices with my bag choices of course and I think as you build a collection then you do want to experiment with color and style and you feel a little bit more comfortable to experiment because you already have classics so I understand when people say I would rather spend the money on a classic bag I totally get it and I would too I would too but if you are somebody that does enjoy the house and you have several pieces and you want to get something that is serving a specific purpose then I would definitely go for this bag I'm going to show it to you of what I picked maybe some of you who follow me already know what this is the bag or the box is not as huge as the Deauville tote thankfully but it is still quite big and I need to find room for where I'm going to put this box but I had this on hold because I saw it. I was in uh, the boutique with the Luxonomy. Here is my receipt. We went, uh, we were, you know, meeting up, just catching up, and um, we wanted to compare our Caramel Classic Flaps. She's got 21P, I've got 22S, 
and we did a comparison shot. I'll show it to you as, uh, guys as well here so you can see there really isn't a whole lot of a difference. I think the 22 S is a little bit smidge darker, but that's just dye a lot because hides take um, dye differently. But anyway, here's the box. I've tried the 22 on. When I saw it actually in person, I, I did actually like it. The price point is something that, oh, they changed the sticker. It's a white sticker. Um, the price point was something that I thought mm, for the bag, like I thought it was a bit much, but then again, everything else has gone up. I see this as a, dare I say, poolside bag. Um, people are like, what, it's leather. It, it is, it was marketed as a spring summer bag. They're wearing it with the swimsuits. If you look at the runway, it literally looks like, they're carrying the large size and they're not stuffed, there's nothing in them. It literally looks like Glad recycling bags or garbage bags, and I totally get it. There's a number of colors. Um, the, the leather is quite thick. I, I'm pretty sure this is lambskin. I'm, I'm gonna make sure, but can you guess? Here it is. Ta-da. This, So this is the 22. I have made, I may have major regrets, guys. Like, I don't know, I'm, I might regret this purchase, but I just, the color is just so happy. It screams spring, summer, poolside, even though I don't really go to the pool. When am I really going to the beach? Never, I live in Canada. Like what beaches do we have? Um, but it smells amazing. The leather is thick, okay? Uh, so I saw this with the Luxonomy. Was, I didn't know that this came in this color. I never saw it. I always saw it in black and white. And the white was something that I was actually attracted to. I saw this hanging there and I'm like, oh, that's actually kind of nice. So I tried it on and she was like, you need to get this. And I'm like, just bought the caramel bag. <laughs> I took a photo of it, uh, showed it to my husband. My husband was totally digging it. And he is one of those people that has a very unique taste and he, he's usually on the ball with certain things like I, when everybody hated the 19 or when I hated the 19 when it came out um, he loved it and now I love it uh, the caramel I hated it he loved it like there's just certain things that are unpopular but he loves and some people just have an eye for something is this really I mean is it really like a drawstring jewelry bag like I felt like it might be but actually there's a lot more to the construction of this bag than what we give it credit for. Um, I really like the the yellow gold hardware. Okay, so it's got this nice medallion that's hanging off of it. The This particular one has the gold, yellow gold um, hardware on here. Uh, some have, like for instance, the black, sorry, the, the white has black and it also comes with gold, but then the chain will be gold. So, um, but let's just go through the bag. There's nothing on the back. There's just giant quilts, okay? You can scrunch it up. And it's funny because I was talking to Dacov from Super Jacob, and I'm like, this reminds me of, like, you know when you go to a conference and then they give you those, like, one of the sponsors at the conference gives you, like, gives everybody, like, this nylon bag or a tote to put all their freebies in, like, brochures and snacks and things like that. If Chanel had a conference, they would give us these, but they would be in pleather, not leather, of course. So um, here is the chain. This is the medium size, by the way. The large is huge, but also doable. I'll insert mod shots as I go, as I've tried this on. Comes in a backpack version as well. The backpack is also big. They might do it smaller later on next season. Um, and then there's a smaller size to this, which is tiny. I saw a girl trying it on. She was smaller than I was, but it would be absolutely tiny on me. Some people think this is a small on me, but this is the medium. And let's open it up. I'll do like an in-depth analysis maybe later on. I'm just in a pinch for time. Um, but this is it stuffed. Okay, so let's take the stuffing out. And this is in the color rose, or I'll, I'll put the color code in as well. So inside is entirely quilted. And if you can see at the bottom, the quilts all line up, which is really nice. It's not leather lined, it's fabric lined. 
it's got the metal plate in there there's just the the leather that goes down this up to there and the rest is like a, a fabric um, there's a magnetic closure right which is kind of nice uh, and then even in the other side there's a zip compartment and my bag is made in Italy so they're not made in France so there's a, um, a pocket in there and okay so um, there's also this pouch that they also are doing in the Deauville totes so it's just a plain pouch with the CC and then quilted interior you can detach it add a little wristlets pouch but this itself is not detachable from the bag so it's it literally a poolside bag the sides have these buttons where you can um, like button it up and you know some people are saying that it's like literally two pieces of leather that are just sewn into a square and while that may be true there is a little bit more thought put into it it is folded it does all line up um, the this part here it's folded in whereas it's not just a free edge that's glazed um, the chain goes there's like one loop that goes on one side and the other side and yeah so that is it uh i think it definitely is an adventurous bag uh i you know you can wear it like especially in the black i mean i can see how you can sort of wear it around in the city this is a sign that big bags are coming back absolutely we knew this before uh it's quite lightweight uh, and it's very comfortable to wear i'm not a hobo bag style i really like my structured handbags but this is that relaxed poolside vibe going to like we don't really have a whole lot of beach clubs here but i'm just saying like <laughs> it's a good vegas bag it's a good saint-tropez bag okay i am envisioning going on vacation and wearing this and this is just such a beautiful happy color yes people would say get it in black get it in black um i have enough black bags so this is a spring summer bag uh in white uh, would have been nice as well but i i didn't see this in i didn't see it in the medium size but this color is just so unique it's so iconic to the collection it's the first rendition of the bag so as a collector this is something that i would love um i'm gonna it's futile i mean it, we're probably gonna i'm probably gonna end up getting it anyway in the future just like with the 19 so gonna test drive this out i'll let you guys know what i think i'll try to you know it fits a whole lot i don't need to go through what fits inside this bag you can fit a lot i mean at the most let's see if the laptop fits okay laptop there you go you got yourself a school bag i don't recommend this for school <laughs> but you know this is a 13 inch macbook pro in its case that's how it fits so this is this is it guys like i mean um that's my rationale for it. I did think about it. It wasn't as an impulse buy as you know one may think. I was thinking about this. I was eyeing this. I was looking at it. The navy blue is beautiful. Black is nice. The leather is nice and thick. It's not delicate feeling at all. Some people say it feels kind of like plastic. It really is, and I think it's treated and it's coated. I'll do some close-up shots as well. Um, I just, I just love it. I think it's great. Next season, I think there's going to be some metallics as well. I saw photos leaked silver so they're really going to be pushing this bag some of you might resist and that's okay because as i said if you don't have a whole lot of bags and you're buying like your first this probably won't be it you're going to probably want to put that money towards a classic item but for those of you who are collectors or you know want something different definitely edgy it's a cool girl vibe I'm, am i a cool girl now am i <laughs> I was never the cool girl, but um, this is that cool girl vibe, okay? So this is how it looks. I was just so happy with just a black and white outfit. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you next time. Bye.